you you are seeing people in some of their lowest moments and so how does this work help you keep your spirits up yeah um you know debbie i I, music just has that capacity hey Mm -hmm. you know for all of us so we use the same tool we're sharing a lot of the time and um as we meet people um, they share their stories with us and behind every song is an untold story until it's told and we hear those all the time Mm. i had a particularly um a heart tugging moment for myself um we we as a team take typically a a company closure um during the christmas to new year's week we typically close our work and i got a call from one of the places that we work which was the palliative care unit the end of life unit and uh, they said can you just come in can somebody come in just for um a, a very special case And um, I knew that I wasn't going to call my team. They were tired. (laughs) We're still tired, but they were, they needed some breaks for themselves. So I kind of grumbled a little bit and I went, okay, you know, because when people ask, we go. And I went into the palliative care unit and a nurse met me at the elevators as I came off and she began to tell me she was we were going to move quite quickly to the room i was going to be at full ppe at the time you know the shield the mask the gown the gloves a guitar you can imagine wiping down the guitar like the whole thing and uh, i didn't know what i was heading into and um they also said you can't go in the room So I had to go and stand at the door. So constraint, 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 like all these things, barriers, all of it. I was wearing a barrier. The door was a barrier. And um, they said that in the room would be a, um, a university student, a young student who um, had moved here um, from India Hmm. approximately um, two years ago to go to university and um, was diagnosed with stage four cancer during her second year. And they had been working very hard for the last six months to get her parents brought over during COVID. They were finally there in her last week. And um, I got to the door I had no idea what I was going to do. And this is when you are so grateful for all your years of training and all your experiences. And so you are able to put a little bit of a veil, but a real transparent style permeated veil that you can still reach people, but be able to keep thinking through of what's next. And, um, I learned quickly I didn't have to figure it out too hard because the mom knew exactly what she wanted. She said, "Um, would you please just play live music? I want the last thing my daughter Mm. hears to be live music. And I want the last thing she sees is her parents dancing and happy. Oh, wow. So just when I thought nothing was going to affect me and change me in this job. And there I was earlier, just grumbling a little bit. I had to go to work and I leave with an incredible story to share with people and a moment to remind myself uh, just how powerful something so simple but not easy can be. Yeah.